This playthrough is rated T for teen. If it took beating a lich to get one of these artifacts, what else are we going to run across? Greetings and salutations viewers while we're back here with another episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. In the last episode, we've finished going through Liren's uh, little tower, got the Orb of Thunder, beat the lich by finding his phylactery, and a uh, villain from the first game who we thought was an ally uh, came back and we defeated him quite soundly, a lizard man with magic, but uh, couldn't handle my fists of steel. So now we got to give Jarek the Orb of Thunder and continue on. So let's sell our stuff, though. Too bad you don't have anything to talk about me being a lich. You know how hard that is? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, let's sell some stuff, so... Yeah, sell that. Go through there, that. Uh, let's sell that. Let's see, I think I'm good on that right now. Ooh, yeah, let's sell those. My prices are always more than fair, friend. What are you looking for? Let's see. Take a look. Can I buy? Take a look at stones real quick. I was thinking about. Okay, I can't buy amethyst yet. I'm looking at a uh, future future stuff. I eventually. I'm trying to save up my money. I've got a decent amount. I am eventually going to start working my way towards up, starting to upgrade my gear with workshop stuff, so I can actually start getting to that that point. And the easiest one to start first is gems on uh, like rings and stuff like that, because I've already got the rings and necklaces I need. I just need to start building them up, but uh, yeah, I guess it's Act 3 when we can start getting a certain number of gems, so. Alright, anyway, now to to interact with Jareth, uh, Jarek, I mean, we have to go to the um, warehouse again. Oh yeah, and I gained a level last episode, so let's see. Let's, uh, at this point, since I've, since I almost died quite a few times during um, our fight during, with the Lich Dude, I think it's about time to finally start beefing up my HP since my, uh, um, since I'm not, I'm going to beef up my con one more point with the, the plus one, but after that I'll probably put the rest of it into strength, so I need to start just having higher durability, so I need to start putting stuff into toughness and, uh, HP regeneration rate, so we're going to start pumping, uh, stuff into that, because I think this is a good, uh, good time to start doing that, so... And having a little bit of extra HP always will work, so. Yeah, C6, 12. And do I want to... Well, I want to beef up that a little bit. Maybe I should uh, get the Fortitude up first, just so I can get the HP regeneration rate a little bit faster, so. Okay, yeah, we'll... Yeah, we'll hold off on that, so. Alright, I think that's good, so. All right, let's go back to the warehouse and talk to our Harper friend. We don't, he, I don't think he still told us he's a Harper. It's just the enemies know that he's a Harper, so they got more information than we do. I see you survived Liren's hold and recovered the orb. Impressive. Your reward is well deserved. Here. 2,000 gold and 4,000 experience for being a lich. One of the hardest creature, well, not the hardest creature. There are much harder creatures like gods and undead god fetuses and stuff like that, but... You roughly most adventurers, usually liches, are the end of a campaign type of situation. And that's all we get. That just goes to show like what type of how the game is told in this game uh, as opposed to most AD and D campaigns. You, know, I see. Uh, let's see. Uh, my thanks. You mentioned other effects. I was ambushed by black armored men led by a lizard man. <sighs> yes, these Antarum. I'd hope we'd be working too quickly for them to interfere. I'll raise the reward on future missions to reflect the increased risk. Better? Uh, who are the Zentarum? The Black Network began as a group of powerful merchants, but now their ranks include assassins, spies, and an army. They're a powerful political organization with the backing of the Church of Bane, the diabolical god of strife and hatred. The Zentarum are always looking to collect objects of power. No doubt their spies have sniffed out our purpose, and now they look to steal the artifacts for their own. Hmm, so Bane, Bane's, uh, the, their, their creed. I think, I, I thought for a second Bane had been killed during the, the Time of Troubles or whatever, but no, I think, I thought he took over the God of Murders portfolio or something like that. There's a game based off that idea um i think the story is pretty good i'll have to record that one of these days but that would take forever to record just because of how long that game is overall mention other artifacts there were four in total including the orb i also seek the jade octahedron the brazier of eternal flame and the oceanic urn 
What do you want all these MacGuffins for? Well, what, what about the Jade Octahedron? The Jade Octahedron, an eight-sided rune stone the size of a troll's fist, is located in the halls of the Hammer, an abandoned dwarf stronghold across the High Moor. And we got the key from that from that one dwarf, so we can go in there now. Uh, I'll return when I have the Jade Octahedron. Very well. Yeah, let's do that one first. I prefer going to that one first. You can go at any of them in any order, but that's the one I like going to. So Mainly because we got the key and everything with that. So Do I have enough... Uh, Room. I almost feel like I should sell a few more things before we do that. Like maybe sell my rejuvenation potions a little bit or something like that. Kill some weight. Mainly because this area we're going to go to, we're, uh, we are going to run across an area that has a um, you can't go back to it type of thing. And I want to make sure I don't have to, I can grab everything in that area before uh, before I leave it. So Let me sell those, some of those rejuvenation potions since I haven't really been using them anyway. So... I kind of want to sell the recall potions just because I use them, but not that often. So I could probably afford to sell like a couple. Let's see, you can buy them too if it really comes down to it. I just rather rather sell at least a couple just to save me on some weight. Yeah, really the big thing is the weight is to some scale mail, and that's toned down. But yeah, already no, no major fanfare. Really, just kind of, I mean, off to the next, off to the next MacGuffin, you know. Oh well, all games have MacGuffins. Just how interesting are the MacGuffins? So, anyway, let's head to the uh, halls of the Hammer. Yep, looks like we got ambushed. Yeah, on our way there again. So, now right, let's explore this place and see what's here. What the? Oh yeah, we're back to, uh, oh, what is that, Lizardmen? Or, oh no, those are like rat creatures or something like that. Sorry, I was trying to get to my son. I can barely, I had to, I had to like, he, he had to get closer to the screen so I could see him, but. At least I think they're like, they're like throwing like crap at me or something like that. Of course they look like rat men. Whoa. To throw fire and make me, you know, good thing I'm not a scarecrow, man. At least I think there's a supposed to be rat men of some sort, but could be wrong. I don't remember. Whoa. Oh, we get to ah. That's nasty. It's fighting a lich, having a lich chase you, but still pretty annoying. Throwing like spears, throwing like javelins that mean stuff. So they might be. No, those are lizard men, never mind. I don't know why I thought they were rat men for a second, I guess it's the, the way I was looking at them or something like that, so. Yeah, they punched, they kind of punched me a little hard. Good thing I gave myself a little bit more HP. Man, you will not back off, will you? Gotta be careful that they, uh, they, yeah, they throw the fire things that gets, and I get stuck, and they'll just do all this damage. So, hello, sir. You've driven the troglodytes off. I am Landon, and owe you my thanks. Alas, if you'd only come sooner. Oh, troglodytes! Oh, I remember those guys. Just they looked more like lizards than anything. I mean, troglodytes are a type of lizard creature, just not lizard men specifically. So, what happened here? Troglodytes. I'd heard there were raiders on the moor, but so many. They must be based in Brigand's Hold. My lord and Lady Cadmere were traveling back to Baldur's Gate from Waterdeep. The wagon was attacked. I believe all the other guards are dead. I saw Lady Cadmere being carried off over one of the brute's shoulders. I do not know what happened to my lord. Will you help them? Perhaps, but why should I? Lady Cadmere is a high magistrate in the city, and her husband a wealthy landowner. There's no doubt you'd be rewarded. Up, you said the magic word. I'll help then. Where's the brigands hold? Several miles west of here. A ruined keep and village. There's little left on the surface, but there's supposed to be an extensive network of cellars and dungeons below ground. Bandits often use the place to hole up. I'll mark it on your map. 
I'm in no condition to fight, so I'll check my fallen companions for survivors and continue down the road for help. Farewell. Looks like we got ourselves a mini job while we're heading on to the halls. Um, do you have anything else to say? I'll mark it. Okay. On. Um, this place is a, a temporary area, so as soon as you leave this place, it uh, disappears forever. So keep that in mind. So make sure to fully explore the place and get any rewards or get, kill the creatures that are inside. And the nice thing about talking to that guy is my HP was regening while I was talking to that dude, so you could leave it, leave it sitting on that screen if you didn't want to have uh, yourself out in the open while you're fighting these guys. So. Uh, you try that I start annoying, throwing, throwing your flaming poo at me or whatever it is. I don't think it is. It's just it seems gross and unkempt to say something like that. So I will say it. Yep, but no monsters are here. Flames are growing. Getting bigger. Watch out. And they fall like all of, all the others. All the others. Okay. Nope. Let's just that. Not bad. Not bad. I'll sell that later. Oh, in uh, another case, uh, not necessarily here, but here in the future, like maybe the next area or so, uh... We're gonna need fire and acid again because of trolls, but uh, keep that in mind. I mean, you probably should have had it from the previous fight with trolls, but I don't know, who knows what would have happened. Fear cares in between near and told and stuff like that. I don't know if your dad. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you what to do. Even though, you know, I'm, I'm recording a playthrough basically telling you what to do. You know, because that's the joke. Funny I make that joke about, like, making a joke of a joke and pointing out the joke. Sometimes it's funny, but I notice a lot of modern comedians like to tell that and they almost kind of kill that type of joke. Like, I've heard that before. Stop it. It all goes in phases, I guess. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's anyone else here before we leave. I think I might have killed everyone. Eh, I think so. All right, yep, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Actually, can we even leave this way? Nope. Sure can't. Alright, let's uh, go back the way we came then, since the game won't let us leave that way, so let's uh, leave the other direction. Oops. At least I believe I hit every one of the creatures and everything, so. There we go. Alright, let's head to the. Uh, oh, there it is. Let's head to the Brigand's Ruins. Let's see, I guess that makes me, this area makes me believe, yep, okay. Alright, let's see if we can save these people and get a reward for all the deliciousness that it, that will occur from saving rich people. Because they'll be forever grateful. Struggle dice, huh? You guys definitely are bandits. Didn't think you were smart enough to die. I don't use troglodytes too often in my game, so I'm trying to remember what their their big thing is. Oh, right, I have stun still, or I have a sprint on. Whoops. I hate when I do that when I forget to swap it out to the, the next one. Ooh, there's millions of spears, man. Millions of spears. Spears for me. Millions of spears. Spears for free. Look out! Alright, here I go and see. Ah, sneak in. You can tell this side quest was a reused. Uh, they have some reused assets. You can already tell these from a previous, uh, previous area we've been to before. It's almost same, same position and everything. So, oh well. Yeah, it can't make every area super unique. Although it's definitely better than Dragon Age 2 when it comes to reusing the assets. Please. Man, that game was so bad about, like, reusing, making the, all the dungeons the same. It was, like, so boring. Ah. Yeah, these guys are definitely, uh, definitely racking my brain. And my lungs. And my, and my feelings. And my heart. Yeah, definitely a case of separating the, uh, the creatures. Oh. Ah, man, come on. And I was saying earlier how I, how a stunning blow had just enough stun, but 
you know, wears out by the time I actually need it. Yeah, I probably should heal. But yeah, can you see how like how much faster my uh, the charge time is on my health regeneration now that I've uh, beefed it up a little bit? It's not a ton, but you can you can definitely tell you notice it now. Before it was kind of short, where you could maybe if you were looking at it, you would notice it, but but you could easily forget it. But nope, now I see my efforts. Got the got the show. I'll have to look up, uh, in between episodes, I'll have to look up troglodytes to see what I can remember about them. Like I said, I don't use them too often. I kind of wish I did change, use up different characters or monsters more often, but it just kind of happens where I, I have certain types I use and I kind of stick to that for whatever reason. I think it's like anyone who, like, writes certain characters or whatever, they have a certain mentality for certain designs or creatures or whatever, and they just like using that over and over and over again. Yeah, trying to hold off on potion use because, you know, just lose it using all those against Lyran's hold, so. I if you can actually sneak through there. Nope, okay. I think that would have been funny, but I mean, punch him through the wall like Dark Souls or something like that. Or old Dark Souls, it really, really wasn't as polished. I mean, it's still not perfectly polished, but, you know, just enough to where you can kind of manipulate, you know, attacking things through walls and stuff like that. Ooh, a club. I don't think you can... No, you can't get over there. Or there's nothing over there to get. Not like that one. Did you? One early in the game, I think it was the Red Marauder's Cave. Oh yeah, let's go and save it. Yep, got to See, I... I you pe pe people remind me from the future to remember to save. Be kind, rewind. In this case, be kind, save. Or you don't want to lose all your progress. No, do you, adventurers? Ah. Yeah, these guys are a little bit nastier because they got ranged and then the whole fire, you know, if you stand put, it'll, it'll wreck your day. It'll make you, give you a bad case of athletes, but that's for sure. Yeah, I better uh, heal. Or at least let it heal for a second before I... What if I can... No, they're not separating. They're just trying to stick together. Ah. I sure could switch the bow. Even though I haven't really been using it. Ah, oh god, see? It doesn't really... Unless you can hit him from far, decently far away. Just look at that. This is so cheap, man. Oh, we're good. We're separated. Excellent. Oh, yeah, if you have multiple weapons, if you press right on the directional pad, it switches between your weapons. I believe you can have up to three equipped, if I remember correctly. Aha. I tend to forget I can do that swap in weapons ability because I do not use it very often in games. I kind of have a, I mean, yeah, this game has like you know, like I said in the previous episode, it has enemies that have strength and weaknesses as to, to certain elements and all that. But depending on which difficulty you play as, you it might not be a, a biz, as big of a deal because you'll forget about it after a while. You're like, oh yeah, some people are strong to acid or whatever. You have a lot of HP. Come on down, Troglodyte. Actually, I like using Troglodyte as an insult to someone. You Troglodyte! You know, it means, uh, you know, beneath, beneath you and all that other stuff. Pawn scum and all that. That's, a, that's an insult I haven't used forever. You know, pawn scum or whatever. Yeah, most people resort, when they curse, they resort to the, the big seven. If you want to know what those are, just watch a George Carlin bit. I think that was one of his more famous bits was the seven words you don't use or something like that. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of creative insults or creative uh, you know, cursing or whatever as opposed to the standard stuff. Not as it makes it more fun. Kind of like how I like one of the more tamer words I like is like fool. You know, you fool! You know, even though it's nothing to, nothing, like it's not a big deal, yet I don't know, just something about it, people saying it's funny. 
I wouldn't say it's intimidating. I just find it's entertaining when people say fool. You know, trying to insult them. Fool. You know, just because of just modern ways of thinking. Just Obviously, it's just like, oh, that's kind of silly, dude. Where is this? Where is these rich people? I don't want their money, dang it. I want to save them and get paid. You know, like Robin did in the Shre Shrek movie. Ah, take that. Take them apples. I don't know what that means, but I know it means something. No. As long as you don't keep throwing fire in your face, I'll accept it. But I, I, but I am more obligated to punch you a lot and cause fire to your face. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, unfortunately, there's really not much change to my strategy, but I mean, other than the mini running away, and I guess the flight missiles could have been, whoops, could have been helpful here with the, uh, with these. Actually, I'm trying to remember, but starting, I think Sword Spears counts the melee or missile weapons for the purposes of that ability. I mean, technically in D and D, they don't. I don't count when it comes to stuff like that. You know, in old D and D, at least in old D and D, wording was very important. And the reason for that was like for those who could understood human language or was able to manipulate language, they could use it in the game to their advantage to role play past certain encounters, you know. It's why it's why a lot of early D and D, if you look at has a lot of numbers and math added to it. Um, because there's another way to manipulate like spells and depending on your DM and they could if you knew the like how the math of a spell worked, you might be able to Utilize it to your advantage in very specific situations. Nowadays, most most uh, spells in D and D, like 5e, don't really let you try to don't really give you a whole lot of detail. They give you the very basics and stuff that's used for the combat part of D and D. So if you're gonna punch something, here's the best way to punch it. That type of thing. Do Dragon Ball Z bridged. I'm gonna punch it. If you say it really hard, I'm gonna hit you. Punch it harder. Yeah, it wasn't here. And I tell, I tell you, son, a piece of leather armor. It just popped out right out of that chest. Funniest gosh darn thing I ever heard. Saw. Yes, you me. Probably should uh maybe, you know, I, I don't do it as often. But I probably should uh cut, cut that audio out if I ever sneeze. I mean, no one wants to hear that, right? Or do you? I mean, Viad if, 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 if maybe you want to hear Viadra's voice actor sneeze, but not me. And, and I understand that. I will not blame you for such thoughts. Anyway, let's uh, grab potions and stuff like that. Sorry, sometimes when I record late at night, I start getting weird when it comes to my dialogue because I'm trying uh, uh, my uh, commentary. Especially if, if like, there's not a whole lot going on that draws my attention. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I know I mentioned that in a previous episode, but yeesh. Get surrounded. Ah, I could have taken advantage of stun. Ooh. Fire, poison, whatever. What else you got? Are you gonna have icicles and all that next, or what else? What you got? Is it in your bag of tricks? Seems like we're doing everything else. Alright. How many more to go? What do we get here? Gold, battle axe. Okay, cool. Probably should save it again. That was a. Yeah, I think we're almost close to the end of this pipe. And then we can actually go on to the halls. More chances for experience is always welcome. And money. Even though I have plenty of money. But I'm really saving. It's like, like most things. I'm saving the money for workshop and when Act 3 starts. Because how expensive everything gets and all that. 
got magic struggle. <laughs> you see that it's like when he's running after me, like his him scaring is because it was tra uh, his uh, trail, uh, not trail bla blazing. It's where certain enemies have a certain mark when they have to where they move when it comes to interacting with environments, whether it be the main character or whatever. Pathfinding, I think, is what they call it in, in game design. Man, I'm more, I'm more, almost getting into the level actually. Well, that guy was a big one. That reminds me of an ability in uh, was it the uh, weird uh, Wild West or I think it was Deadlands or whatever. Uh, there's a, um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a feat slash like uh, hindrance. In that game, you, uh, feats are called edges and hindrances. Edges are usually good, good things that can be a part of your character, and then hindrances are the bad things of your character. But there's one hindrance that technically gives you a good ability, as well as being bad too, and it's called biggin, which basically increases the size of your character. Which size is good for how much uh, how much damage you can take before it's considered a wound and whatnot. Uh, and with Biggin, it's a hindrance that it increases your size by I think like one or two because you're basically fat, but it reduces your agility or something like that by a bit. So, that, so do you take, you know, are you less agile but can take more damage? So that type of thing. There is a the, the edge to that is I think like a country. Boy, I don't know why I said that. What's it called? I think it's just called Brawny actually. Yeah, you're you're Brawny, so that means you're big, but you're not you're. You know, standard either skinny big or your muscular big, and uh, it just increases your size in general. So, I, don't know. I like I liked how they worded a lot of uh, stuff in that game because it's based off uh, you know the Wild West mentality because the whole RPG is about you know playing cowboys and Wild West, but it's one of those alternate you know obviously it's sci-fi so it's one of those alternate worlds and universes where. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the uh, Civil War never ended or something like that, or was, uh, or both sides came to uh, a standstill because of uh, certain events in the world. Even though that's not the big backdrop of it, but it is one of the major events in that game. Getting smacked on quite a bit. Mainly because, oh, we got a, we got a wizard here. Wizard dies first! I mean, no, you didn't block, so I'm fine until then. Ah. Oh, where's the... Oh, I thought... It was just this general armor dropping. I thought something actually dropped. I was like, oh. Well, no chain boots. But yeah, I thought armor dropped just because of the clang, but, you know, monsters can drop their stuff, too. Let's go play for a little bit longer. Why not? You know, make up for last couple episodes. Because I want, I mean, this game is a decent length, but it's about, I don't know, I think it's about the roughly the same length as a, as a, the previous game. Maybe a little bit longer, but not by much. Yep, we got ourselves another dungeon, even though we just were in a dungeon. But it's not a dragon, so, you know. But where's all the dragons? <laughs> My Dungeons Dragons, dude. I want my Dungeons Dragons. Well, I guess Trump Pass could count as a Dragon. I guess. Okay. Nope, just a bunch of mini rats in here, so let's keep going. Just gotta be aware of the, the, the one people are, the ones that have been captured. I assume they got captured, otherwise, why are we in this you know, dungeon? Down this way. Whoa. Your bag of goo on me. I have to actually heal this time. Probably a good idea, actually. Now, of course, both Trinodites are chasing after me. Could have been one or two. Has to be both. That's how you win without using potions. You just separate the characters. I'm almost hoping I can gain a level before that, but I don't know. Ooh, creatures beyond from beyond the grave. Or the or the gate. Yeah, yeah everyone. 
want to come on in through the door. The water's fine. Did your pathfinder get stuck? Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, wow, thirty almost thirty minutes into the episode, I just mentioned it. Um, you can actually go back to Lyran's hold and uh, and go into the dungeon to get the treasures that I didn't pick up in the like in the the room with Lyran in the first place. So you can go back to that room, fight the mon if you miss any monsters or did the whole skip them all till you got to, till you beat Lyran, so you didn't have to mess with fighting him or running away from him, which is a legitimate way to take care of that situation. Ah. Nope, can't manipulate that, so nothing bad. An Imperial Ring. I do solemnly swear, as an Imperial. Now let's go north. Let's see what's up that way. Oh, did I just, just stomp the rat? Yeah, it's funny how you can, if you step in the general vicinity of a rat, you can just squish it dead. Squish, squish, squish. Dead, dead, dead. Not a good, uh, not a good spot there, especially if we're getting poisoned. Poison. Uh, who's the, there he is. Yeah, I gotta stop him. Ooh, that could have been bad. Because it could have hit me enough with those, uh, you know, fireballs to, uh, well, let's just say cause some trouble. Put down the fireballs or there will be trouble. Ow, stop it. I'm actually not being uh, facetious there. I'm actually, like, really stop it. One more. Ah. Uh. Say that, magic user. So close, man. So close. Let's see. Gold. Throwing axe. All right. Add and or so gloves and good. go on to the next area. And we'll have a, should have enough healing by the time. How much how much experience do I really need? It's not much, is it? Oh no, it's nothing at all. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. I can't get Viadra to, uh, to do that. Nope. As much as you guys want it to be true, Viadra will not do it. She's not like the sorcerer's new elf for the first game. Wouldn't have been interesting if they made like... Uh, or Yaren, the Moon Elf Sacromancer, that uh, the sorceress that was in that game, like they were related or something like that. Because they're both Moon Elves, but that doesn't mean anything. That just means they just like work in the Moon Elf. You know, pasty elves, basically. Alright, gained a level. Oh, yeah, finally get that stat bump, so let's stat up uh, Constitution. And it will uh, faster HP regeneration, but uh, give us a plus one HP per level, so. That's great, great fortitude. And max out our toughness, I think. Then we'll figure out what to get. And I think after that, I think I'll start doing uh, crew critical. I think is my next step. Yeah, six HP per thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and give myself a crew critical. Anything else I can give myself? Not enough points for really. Uh, could do the damage. Nah, yeah, we'll just save it for a pr critical. So, I know I should have probably piece bump that one up a bit sooner, but yeah, it's fine. I felt like the idea of having just pure, because it is a percentage chance, um, and I'd rather have pure damage than uh, than this possibility of damage. I mean, how often have you actually seen yellow numbers appear on my bar? when I've been fighting. Not very often. At least not as often as I'd like, anyway. 
Ooh, there's a million of there. A million billion trolloidites. They're trying to poison me. Might be a time to go back to town and do uh, it. Yeah. Did you breathe that out of your mouth? Maybe time to go back to town to sell my equipment, maybe. Yeah, probably should. Maybe a good breaking breaking point. Nothing. Well, we we tried and we failed. Alright. Well it looks like we did a decent amount of progress. But looks like this dungeon goes ever further onward. Will we be able to save save the two uh two high and mighty get bit paid for our efforts? And what about the do uh, dodecahedron? Even though that's not the let's just call it the jade thingy. We'll find out next time in the next episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.